Lucas, thanks very much for joining us. Um, just for those who don't know, just, just give us a brief introduction to 7R. 7R is uh, one of the fastest growing industrial developers in Poland. Currently looking also for some other markets abroad, uh, starting with the Czech Republic, uh, which we supposed to have the first project uh, still uh, this year. Uh, in general, we did deliver almost uh, more than a million square meters uh, across the last several years. Uh, we are currently very active in all of the core markets and emerging markets in Poland with both uh, strategies for the BTS projects and the Mutilet. At the same time, we were one of the first uh, developers to implement the program for the last mile SBU in Poland, which is called uh, CityFlex. Quite a success, uh, especially for the, for the first phase. We are looking very carefully for the for the next phases. Apart from that, uh, we uh, we are still looking for the new opportunities uh, across uh, different jurisdictions. At the same time, we are looking very closely for uh, certain new emerging markets in Poland, especially after what did happen in the uh, in the in our neighboring Ukraine a couple couple of weeks ago. Uh, just in just in terms of I suppose your plans there at Seven R, um, have they been influenced at all by? Um, the war in Ukraine. Are you still looking? You know, I mean, I suppose what 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 are you, what are your tenants saying? Where's the demand there in 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 Poland? Yeah, our, our tenants are from from the uh, broad spectrum of the of, of the whole market. In the, at the end of the day, of course, the the free PL sector, uh, which is pretty much the biggest one right now, they are all focused on the on the customer spendings reports. They are double checking how the general inflations will uh, will interfere the. Uh, the appetite for the investors to consume more, and uh, at the same time, uh, they are they are comparing the situations with the with the Europe, where for the first quarter the the e-commerce turnovers were down uh, by 13 percent year over year. Of course, the previous years previous years base was quite uh, higher because of the uh, because of the pandemic uh, second round. But at the same time, uh, they are double checking whenever our lower base of the e-commerce penetrations uh, will be affected or not. Uh, currently, it's again similar situations. Wait and see. It's too early to tell. Uh, there are some first signals uh, that, it, that that we may enter into a slightly uh, slightly stagflation mode. We will see how how it goes, especially after uh, after another interest rate increase in the couple couple of weeks ago. But uh, the other interesting sector is uh, the whole east side of Poland, uh, where we see that uh, still everyone is trying to assess how the business uh, from, from Ukraine and Russia will interact, especially for the international clients. They believe that the east side uh, will be very beneficial because of the great, great infrastructure, great, great road network. You can quickly commute uh, between the voivod ships and the, and, the, and the east side. And the workforce is there because the other problem which we are which we are having right now is the lack of workforce. Uh, the unemployment rate is at the record low, and there is this uh, this pressure for the for the increasing the wages. Still competitive to the to the to the Western countries, but at the same time, uh, everyone is a little bit cautious to to assess the locations with the mid uh, mid long term uh, uh, availability of the of the workforce. Thanks very much for joining us, Lukas. Thank you.